single side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Knights. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Taken from the three-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A gain of about four yards on the draw. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's a five-yard pickup on the play, and that'll move the sticks. Again, they go with the halfback here, and again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. the catch and look out tackle made around the 48 yard line and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down the quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out quickly. Change of quarterback, Kirby. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've gotta be ready to trust this guy. It's the ninth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second and five here. Ball on the 34. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's the 11th play of the drive. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. 
He's tackled at the 17-yard line. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17. Taken down immediately. 13th play of the drive coming up. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Well, a familiar situation for the offense as they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He makes the PAT. A long 15 play, 79 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Play. The Knights have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. receiver and he dropped it third down now and they need to get it inside the 46 so the stop there on third and long and that's going to bring up a punting situation great hold by the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well get this one off and it's a beauty this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20 the offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels they're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them and the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense so change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heel. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Our score here at Kyle Field. The Sharks, seven. The Knights, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Right 
They run it for the first, and he stops. That makes it fourth and four. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Fielded at the 19. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They go to the ground game. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 36. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers you know what it might not have been a lot but they moved the ball forward football is not a game won 100 yards at a time you take what you can get in a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That's a game on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. They'll drop in for a loss. Excellent pursuit by the defense. They're getting off their blocks, and that time they tracked him down for a loss. yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Touch Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Knights have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Throws incomplete, broken up. It's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with the play calling. A lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers. This time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up the first down. And they make the stop, the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. 
Boy, he put so much heat on that ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. So we're looking at another third down here. Tackle around the 42-yard line. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. Fielded at the 19. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 35-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at about the 45. to the receiver and he can't make the grab. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And down he goes around the 45 yard line. gets rid of it and that'll make it fourth down the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers everybody up close it looks like they're coming after this kick booming kick this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Zips it to the tight end, and he's level at the 27-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. A great first half comes to a close. Our score here at Kyle Field, the Sharks, seven. The Knights, nothing. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these offenses have proven to be capable of making explosive plays, and really we expected to see a lot of that in this game. Haven't seen it so far. You know, David, that, this game reminds me a lot of the 2012 Stanford-Oregon game when the Stanford defense did such a great job of limiting Oregon's big plays. Yeah, and Oregon's an offense that thrives on the big plays, and you see them go the length of the field all the time, and how fast? I mean, just a blink of an eye, you can see it, but what about when you make them execute on third down? What about when you make them execute on third and short? And then you put them in field goal position or field goal range, and you make them decide whether they want to kick a field goal on fourth and short because they don't really feel comfortable getting it. When you make an offense go the length of the field and execute, th that's when turnovers happen. You, you need somebody to slip up and make one mistake. If they put 12, 13, 14 plays together as a four or five, the likelihood of that mistake coming we're very much swings in favor of you. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And it's a short kickoff. 
He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 35-yard line. I tell you what, you got to give these guys credit. They put up a great defensive effort in the first half. They carry it over in the second half. Doesn't look like they're going to give in. Yeah, and this game isn't over yet. I, I think it's going to require them to continue to play with this kind of edge and attitude to be able to give themselves a chance to win the game because we still have a ball game on our hands and still a whole quarter to go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to They don't want to that makes it second from their own 39-yard line. Second down. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. Makes it to the 45-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Gets it. He's in space. Out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Tight end right. Tight end right. Go down, go down. Mike four. Down two. Yeah, the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Knights saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. It's a smart job here by the coaches, making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to about the 21. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 27. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Third and long now after the sack. He's out of bounds around the 20 yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. It's up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Caught at the eight. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. his way to about the 38. That brings up second and it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he 
his tackle right away. Coming to you, coming to you. High score, high score. Five wide. Brought down at about the 41. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they got him for a loss. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. Taken down around the 31 yard line. From the 31 yard line, first down. They bring him down in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. Number five comes in the Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Feeds it to the back. Good outside run there. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. Our score here at Kyle Field. The Sharks, seven. The Knights, three. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. They try running left. Makes it to the 12-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. So they're going to go for it here. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And it pays off. Touchdown. If he punched that in from a short distance, he had great blocking up front on that play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 14-play, 70-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 14-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes
takes it out to about the 27-yard line. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back. That's a seven-yard gain. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Just under three to go in regulation. And he just gets rid of it. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. And off to the left. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. Both teams are well that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to around the 25. And that will be a gain of 10 by the running back. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. The Knights taking their first time out of the half. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. He goes out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Nice play to set up first and goal. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. It's second and goal. Ball on the two. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackle at the one yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Third down now and goal to go. Ball on the one. A short yardage defense here. Let's see, do one of the linemen move first? And coach with the defense. Still that brings up third and goal. About a yard to Pater. And he's got the touchdown. Big 
big time touchdown on the ground for what looks to be the score that puts this one on ice. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a seven play, 33 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The score now, 21 3. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And they can forget about returning this one. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down right around the 40. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. And a quick throw. And he's level at the 41 yard line. The Knights, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.